That is a lot of money. Jeez. Look at that. Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Jamie Farnsworth here. If you guys haven't been to this channel before, I make all sorts of vending machine videos, all the way from fixing vending machines to the most popular collection videos. Now guys, today is a really big milestone. I have made the absolute most money that I have ever made in a vending machine collection video ever. So I'm super stoked to take you guys with me. I also listened to your comments and I got a GoPro chest mount thing so we're going to use that and go through. Uh, we're only collecting money today because I didn't have a whole lot of time to get it done. But let's do this guys. I'm super stoked about this. I can't wait to show you everything. Okay guys, so I had to speed everything up just a little bit in order for this to fit inside of one video. It was something like 24 minutes long. So we're at the storage unit right now. I gotta pick up a little bit of surge so we can throw it in one of the locations because they're completely out. I plan on servicing all the, these locations next week. So we made it over here to Tire Warehouse. This is, I think, my, yep, this is my Vermont Tire Warehouse. I'm just saying hi to the guys and talking to them a little bit. We're going to open this guy up. This is one of a couple of machines where when I service them, I actually had to uh, pull the money out of the machine and put it in the coin slot area. You'll see in a second. I'll show you. I'm looking at, the, uh, I'm looking at everything over there. But you'll see I'll pull this out and you can see already there's some green in there. That right there, uh, the bill acceptor filled up, <coughs> or it was going to fill up, so I had to pull it out. Um, I was originally not going to service this location until, like, July. Like, I was going to keep servicing it, but I wasn't actually going to pull the money out until July. I plan on trying to do that in the future, but we got the van, so we needed to uh, uh, fix all the brakes on the van so we can start using it. Trying to move stuff around in that little car just is not cutting it at all. So we're not going to continue to do that. So we got finished up here, and the next stop was the airport location. Um, this one did pretty good, I think, I'd like to say. I've got my competition next door, and I'm still selling a whole bunch of stuff there. So um, This is an AP113 snack machine. I believe I need to purchase a board upgrade kit for the credit card reader for this machine. I haven't done it yet, but uh, we're getting really close. I'm wicked excited how close we're getting. Ooh, big stack. I don't normally get stacks quite that big from this place, but I'm pretty excited to have it. Now, as I was leaving here, there's a couple of uh, pretty important looking people, so I decided not to continue recording. <laughs> uh, Here's our Hyundai dealership. I love this place. The people are so nice. And something you guys don't see, that car that I just passed is actually signed. <laughs> it's It's got a Tony Stark signature on it. It's an Iron Man Kia Mobile or Hyundai Mobile, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty, <laughs> thought it was pretty cool. Now, I usually fill that soda machine, like, right to the top. And uh, you guys are going to see, we had a pretty good collection off of these guys pretty solid amount. The coins. Oh my gosh, there's so many coins. I fill that cup all the way to the top with coins. It was nuts. I was pretty excited about it. Now, I'm going to close everything back up and get out of here. <laughs> That's a pretty good stack for that place. That's one of my slower soda machine areas, but it, it was pretty solid for that place. Alright, so... Now we're at the VIP dealership, uh, not dealership, they're they're like a tire shop. Um, I love these guys. They've put up with some stupid, stupid stuff that's happened. So this snack machine on the right-hand side is an old USI machine. It's a really solid machine. It works fine. The problem is it's so hot in there and in the actual shop that it just melts everything. So we haven't been running it. Um, we're going to put a cold food machine in there just and put regular stuff in it. But we're going to pull this. This is a Dixie Narco 501E. Uh, a lot of you guys who know me and have known me for a while know that I don't like these machines. But uh, it seems to be doing all right. The uh, Surge sells really, really well at this location. Really well at this location. 
Um, looks like water, lemon water is actually doing okay too. But we've got to service this location next week because it's running out of a lot. Looks like monsters down there quite a bit. So we're going to fill this up. I'm going to replace the Coke with another thing of Surge just so they have they have another option there or they have a, another selection full of Surge. I don't make a lot on the Surge. I purchased the Surge for 87 cents and I sell it for a dollar. So I might push it up to a dollar 25 to be totally honest. But we'll see what happens. See, the problem is Dollar Tree has it for $1.25. That was a pretty good collection off of that machine. I'm pretty happy with it, the way it's coming out. This machine, a couple people used it, but we know that there's a problem here. I'm going to remove everything from that machine. It's all going to get thrown. We are now at my co-op location. Uh, this is a fairly new location. Um, they're telling me that the machine occasionally does not spit out Mountain Dew. Um which is kind of surprising to me because I went through and I tested the Mountain Dew and I tested it a lot and it spit out a Mountain Dew every single time. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Well, so we're just going to collect today. And we pull a decent stack out of this one. I'm still trying to figure out how to use this chest mount so you can't really see me pull the money out. But uh, what I did do is I pulled that coin out. Oh, you can't see me do it at all. Darn it. Oh, there we go. I figured it out. <laughs> you can see the stack's pretty solid. As I was running the route, I started separating the coins and the dollar bills into different bags. You'll see why later. This is the biggest location we have. By far, one of my best locations. I love this place. We got a new Nyax credit card reader. I'll leave a link in the description below for the video of me installing that. But uh, we're going to open this guy up, take a look at it. Now, this is one week since I've serviced this location. <laughs> you can see the water. Oh, you can't really see it with this camera, but the water was half gone. And I've got three columns with water in there. But this was another location where I had cash in the uh, coin area. <clears throat> I still had quite a bit in the bill acceptor as well. Look at that. That's all this location. <laughs> That's a lot of money for this one location. So we're going to go visit the uh, snack machine real quick at the same location here. Uh, this did pretty solid too. It was about half a magazine. Those are those magazines are about $300 thick. I, the coin mech was or not the coin mech, but the the coin box thing was crazy full. I pulled a lot of coins out of that machine. I'm not really sure. I wonder if I wonder if it's because I have a lot of stuff at a dollar twenty-five. I wonder if people are using exact change to do it. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty solid. I love seeing the stacks like that. It always makes me happy. Now I'm gonna start doing videos of just servicing and then videos of just collecting. Uh, that way you're getting more quality collection videos and uh, we're not getting rid of the service co the service videos. Here we're putting everything in the Coinstar. Oh, it took so long. And wait for it. Wait wait for it. Look at that. 231.25 in coins alone. That is a lot of money. <laughs> Let's count it up. See how much we got. I know you guys are going to be asking me about why I'm hand counting money. I haven't bought a counter yet, but I just enjoy doing it, to be totally honest with you. One month is what this collection is. It's one month, four weeks on each location. I was going to push it out more, but we got the van and I needed to get that taken care of. This is the best collection I've ever had. I'm super impressed with how this came out. Look at all this. Look at this madness. Awesomeness right there. So, I'll break it down for you real quick. These, this is uh, 1,231, 69. 
1269. That's flipping crazy. It's the best vending. This is by far the best vending machine collection I have had yet. I'm wicked, wicked stoked about this, and it's really going to help trying to get that van on the road so we can start servicing the machines with the van. But, uh, guys, I'm, I'm just so, so ecstatic. I think we're going to start doing these collections on the first of every month, and uh, we'll go around and we'll service the machines regularly. Uh, you probably noticed that I had a couple of bundles that were in coin slots. It was because they had filled up during a service date. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm wicked excited about this collection. I can't wait for the next one. Uh, be watching out because we're going to blow up a machine with Tannerite pretty soon. And I'm really excited about that one. Alright guys, peace. Remember to love life, live your dreams, and as always, be Farns worthy. Love you guys.